Hello friends, hello, welcome. Welcome to this quick little collective reading that I'm putting together for right now, this space right now. Um, kind of some words of encouragement for you on your path at this moment that you're finding this video. Um, before we do all that, I want to get you, get us into a receptive mode for receiving messages that are for our highest and best good. So let's all take a deep breath together. And now let's get into a little bit more of a peaceful state. I know some of you like to watch my videos. I'm trying to get comfortable on this stool. Like to watch my videos um, in a more of a meditative, receptive mode. So get into whatever receptive mode you want to get into. As I wrap us all in love, light, and light love, inviting in the guides who overlight this show Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, the Pleiadians. Whatever other guides want to show themselves. I am going to do the um, reading like this and show you the cards. And then kind of once they're all laid out, I want to um, turn the camera around so you can see them. We are going to be using, let's see, I'll show the decks that we're going to be using. We're going to be using Pleiadian Power. That's my deck. Um, if you're interested in any of these things that I'm showing that are my creations, um, the links to all of those are in the show notes of these videos. We're going to be using the Gill Tarot. This is fairly new to me. I'm really enjoying it. We're going to be using my newest deck. I haven't even put it out there for sale yet. Um, but this is Loveland Oracle. This is the spring pack. I'll give you a little preview of it before I actually, by the time you watch this, if you're interested in this deck, um, I think it should be out there and available if you're interested in it. All my decks are available exclusively through the Game Crafter. The one thing just to take note of when you order decks through them is they are print on demand. Um, they do quote you like a turnaround time, but what I've noticed is they're much faster than that. So I went to order this deck um, the other day and they quoted me June the 10th and I was like, what? Um, but typically when I, as, as like the shipping date, but typically it's like a two ish week turnaround time. And then you can choose the, um, ex whatever type of shipping you want, just regular or trackable or all that. So this deck is coming. This deck is out the spring pack. I'm working on the summer pack and I've already started creating the autumn pack. And I've got some juicy, fun other things to show you with that. And then we'll be using this. You know, I can never remember the name of this deck. So I brought the whole thing. Believe in your own magic. We'll pull a card from that. All right. So as of the filming of this video, <clears throat> the energy around seems a little kind of chaotic, a little erratic. And I thought that, and this, this is timeless, but I thought that whenever you find this, you know, whether it be right now or later when you're experiencing some chaotic stuff going on and you, you know, your guides bring you to this video. And I just saw three, four, five on the counter. So things are happening kind of in incremental steps right now. Um, I just want to see what the guides want to bring us in terms of what's happening right now. Words of encouragement so that if weird energy does show up, that it doesn't like scare you into thinking that you're off your path or that um, there's something that you need to, to do like differently. Because I think the main message is like they're saying to stay the course. But it's always fun to like look at the messages that the guides want to bring us through the eyes of the cards. Um, to me sometimes like I know I don't necessarily even need the messages but I still like to watch my favorite readers on YouTube because it's relaxing to me and even if I already sometimes know the messages I just like it's relaxing and cozy and comfortable for me to just like see the cards laid out and watch the spread and listen to the reader and the things that they have to say. Um, it's almost to me like a form of entertainment in a sense, as well as 
you know, uplifting and helpful and all of that. All right, so which one do you want to pull out first? Palladium, so palladium power always seems to be the one that wants to jump out first and get started getting used first. So let's see what, <clears throat> what our guides need to know, what words of encouragement we have for us right now. So I've got two cards. <clears throat> the first card I've got is Mockingbird. A little bird told me so. Stop and listen. Nature is speaking to you. So as always, the get outside message, um, it's for many different reasons. Because uh, I think sometimes um, it may be like, why are you always telling me to go outside? And it's not just to be outside. Um, it, it has a dual purpose in a sense. Um, it's messages that you might get or that you're constantly receiving from the elemental realms um, <clears throat> through birds and through feathers and all of that good stuff. It's messages maybe from past on loved ones. So there's a lot of messages coming to you. But at the same time, you're also being in service to the land that you're on, which is a big part of your service work as a bringer of the light. I call it bringers of the light because that's my whole series that I do here on the show. Um, but, you know, light worker, whatever you want to call yourself, grid keeper, gatekeeper, any of that, you serve a dual purpose when you go outside. You're receiving information, but you're also grounding in any key codes or light code activations that are meant for the area around you, be it the land, might need some special attention through your vibe, through your special DNA signature and the things that it brings within it, your auric field, or your community, like the people around you, just by you being outside and grounding in certain energy, kind of causes a ripple effect and sends out over your community, your community space. So it's a it's a reciprocal reciprocal adventure when you go outside. Um, you are doing service work, and you're also receiving um, information and downloads, and just being out in the beauty of being outside. <clears throat> the next card that came out is a Pleiadian pick me up. So we're gonna do this together. This is a love <laughs> love gift. So we're going to take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. So we've got a little healing coming in. And now we're going to breathe in love and breathe out love three times. So let's breathe in love. Hold your breath for a moment and breathe out love. Let's breathe in love and breathe out love. There's the little guy coming in and let's breathe in love and breathe out love. <laughs> this little plant, since I've got it, it's like gotten so tall. So this is a little fern, super cute. And I think I've showed this before on the channel. I found this in my front yard. It's a flicker, a northern flicker, like a type of woodpecker feather. So if woodpecker speaks to you, you can look up the, we're already getting messages. See, woodpecker speaks to you, then you might want to go look up the meaning of the woodpecker spirit animal. All right, who's next? I guess this gill tarot wants to come out next. We're going to bring out the gill tarot. So self-love and self-care, very important right now, as it always is. It's just like some of these messages aren't necessarily anything new and worth shattering right now, right? It's like, it's the, it's, they're going back to the protocols. Oh, I got two more cards. Um, protocols. So when I work with private clients um, for many of the longer sessions, if, I, if it's a card reading or something, no. But if it's like a 45-minute or longer session, the guides always bring in um, some protocols that we put together in a like a PDF, uh, like a pretty little PDF 
printable PDF that you can put up on your, you know, wherever it is that you most see it, of things that you're being guided to do every day as a practice to get yourself in that mode of um, tending to your own energy on a daily basis because it is that is a, is part of self love and self care is tending to yourself, and so. Um, these things are kind of like protocols in a sense to like get outside self love and self care through breath work or meditation or whatever, you know, whatever works best for you connecting with your guides. Cause we've got spirit animals coming through. We've got Pleiadians coming through. We've got plant medicine coming through. And the first, um, tarot card we got, Oh, this one's come out before. It's not really, it's, it's part of the deck, but it's not really part of the tarot, but I really like it. Um, it's like the cover of art off the box too. It's just the Gill Tarot and it's, you know, rainbows and light body upgrades. And this person is like the, a tree, which is kind of just what we talked about. And there's like a little world down here at the bottom, like a little earth. It's almost just exactly what we just said about going outside, you know, being in nature, your little light body is, <laughs> is providing for the earth as well as you receiving in the form of rainbow blessings and all sorts of stuff like doing your light work so for those of you that think like i don't know what my purpose is or i'm not sure or any or you know of that um in a sense by just getting outside you're already doing part of your purpose by just being by just being on the land the other card that came out is a Queen of Cups, but it's contemplation. That's the key word on this card. Look at that Queen of Cups. Isn't she beautiful? I have not seen every I have seen every card in this deck, but I haven't like done a lot of readings with it yet. She's super pretty. Let's see, let's look. She's got a lot of green and a lot of blue. <sighs> Pleiadian colors. There's a full moon and there's also an eagle, another spirit animal, spirit bird coming through an eagle kind of just up in the sky. And she's also part of the earth in a way. She's like part of the ocean because if you look at like her dress, it almost seems like it has like seaweed or sea plants or sea ferns or something she's part of the earth too so many messages about just being so this is card says contemplation just being but being receptive because your intuition is very on point we've got this full moon and we've got this like swift moving messages or swift moving information with this eagle um, almost like he's just going to like run right into her head um, coming through there. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what else we got. Who wants to go next? All right. Love Land. This is the spring pack. This is a 22 card deck. By the time it's done, it'll be 88 cards because each season will have 22 cards. It looks like maybe there's a tarot deck that wants to be birthed out of this as well. So we shall see. So what's coming out of Loveland? Oracle. I just, I don't know. It's just me. It seems so spring-like. But the, actually, the card is heart. And it says, the angel of the heart is asking you to release the bindings you have placed around yourself. Your heart wants to play and make love light. <clears throat> So keeping an open heart, heart chakra clearing, I guess, yeah, she is just, if you just, all right, let's just look, hold on, see if I can get it up here without it shaking around too much. Let's just look at her and she is going to start bringing in a heart chakra clearing. Does that look blurry? Here in the Arthur, wind get a ticket. Jenica get a get a 
I want to place these in a certain way, these cards, so I can show them to you in a minute. Thank you. All right, let's pull from this Amanda Lovelace Believe in Your Own Magic deck. Let's see what it's got to share. Mira how to get in there. Girl. You're going to have a slap down. <laughs> we never do. But. Okay, so we've got one card from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. <laughs> it's card number 42. Another card. With, another card with birds. Look at that. And another queen, almost like another queen of cups because she's got a, she's got a cup in her hand, right? Oh my gosh, you guys know my eyes are getting old. Um, yeah, take your, homeward, take yourself out on a date. And there's another bird coming towards a person. This is like three birds now. One, two, three, the mockingbird, actually four, because we've got the mockingbird, we have the eagle, if you're interested in looking at these spirit animals, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a, it looks like a little dove, like a little peace dove. And then we have the flicker, which is like a woodpecker. Do you want me to read from this book for this? I, I don't typically, but 42, there's a six. <clears throat> Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next that's contemplation twice. Contemplation. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't whisk it away so fast. Uh, it's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home. Enjoy your own company. I like that. Not what I do like every day. <laughs> yes, it's no different. I've got to do something else. Um, let's see if there's anything else they want to share. They want me to see if there's. Oh, they want me to look at the bottom of the deck of Loveland. Okay, so the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Why is this? We've had her come out before. Okay, so they're saying this is a message coming through. If you'll know if this is for you. So this is a special message for some of you watching. They said you'll, they'll, you'll know if this is for you. This is you don't own me. She's got like a Phoenix rising perfume bottle, spritzing out some perfume. And it says, like the Phoenix rising, Linnell primped her hair and spritzed on bubblegum perfume. She would go to the dance without Larry. She was finally free. That goes with enjoy your own company. Don't be afraid to get out by yourself. Even if you're in a relationship, in this case, she's not, she's had like a breakup or something. But even if you're in a relationship, like don't, you know, have a you night or whatever, take yourself out somewhere fun. All right, so I'm going to just flip the uh, camera around here in a second. You can see all the cards. And see if you see any other messages that are meant for you. I think that's important to be able to see them. I like to be able to see them spread out because sometimes things are in the cards that I um, did not speak about. And they're going to guide me to put some little things here that are just around me. <laughs> All right, I don't know why that's important. So maybe this is kind of fun. This is almost like just kind of whatever you're guided to pull out from what's around you. Huh. So maybe this is almost like, because I do kitchen cards on TikTok and I kind of put stuff in the video that's different kitchen related stuff. So they're guiding me to put this. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So let's stay tuned. Hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. Okay. So it's a little gorilla style. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta 
to tighten. So I'm just going to show you all the cards. I know there's a little bit of a shadow on that card. Just get you a good look at the cards together. And I was guided to put this other little bird that was hanging out here. And some stuff that just kind of has to do with child's play. And um, like when life gives you lemons, make lemonade is what I heard as I grabbed this little like juicer. Um, love always wins, this little rock that I found. And some child, child's play stuff, like I was at the store the other day and I was like, no, I don't want to eat too much sugar, but I, I love Sour Patch Kids. And I was like, oh my God, look, they have Sour Patch, Sour Patch Big Kids. And they're like really like bigger, where is it? Like bigger Sour Patch Kids. So I was really excited <laughs> and they grabbed some of those. All right, kids. So enjoy, enjoy. Everything's fine. There's no reason to be off your path. You're not off your path, okay? You're just having like a weird moment and you just need to get back on track. So hopefully these things we've shared with you will give you a little bit of a boost, encouragement. We did some heart chakra healing with the light language and we will check in with you all again soon, friends. Take care, take care.